Good evening, everyone. JDEV has returned once again to give you exactly what you want. And of course, that would be more of me, my amazing backdrop, Austin, giving you our thoughts, our opinions, and hopefully this evening, some award-winning expert analysis on a certain topic subject. Of course, tonight is Sunday night. It's Walking Dead season. Specifically, the season finale of The Walking Dead. Episode number 16, The Storm. We're just going to be giving our thoughts on the episode, what we liked, what we didn't like, and our score of the episode. A little bit more detailed than usual, but hey, it's the season finale. we got to go all out tonight. So exactly. If you're not caught up on The Walking Dead, you might not want to watch this video because it could contain spoilers and ruin it for you when you watch it on Netflix. So, you been warned. And of course, before we go into details, I should let you guys know, and gals, you have to like this video. You have to thumb it up, depending on if you're on Facebook or YouTube. And if you could leave a comment, that would be greatly appreciated. And the reason why, just so we can get a conversation started about The, the Walking Dead. So, like, comment, do what you got to do. Just participate. That's all I ask. So tonight's episode, The Storm, the season finale. It was a good episode. I think. I think Austin would agree. It was a good episode. I didn't think so at first, but it was. It wasn't as jam-packed as last week's episode with that, but it had a lot of good moments. Well, let's touch on something I didn't like, and then we can get Austin's opinions on that as well. Sure. I didn't like that nothing major as far as a character death, whether it be a minor character or a major character, happened in this week's episode. It was just a lot of development and whatnot. So that's a little bit disappointing. Right. Uh, you know, it's a season finale. I, I would prefer a character death in the season finale. It's just my thoughts. Austin, would you like to add anything to that? Well, to leave you wanting more when October comes. I mean, you're like waiting and waiting and waiting. And No? Okay. And they did leave us something to wait till October. There's something yes. that we're, we have lots of questions about. So that's, that's I guess, I, I guess that's the one thing I, I didn't like about the episode. So let's just kind of touch on points of the episode. Um, obviously, we saw them abandon the kingdom. Yeah. Apparently, they're not going to be at the kingdom anymore. I think uh -oh. the set costed too much money or something like that. Uh oh. Uh, so no more kingdom. That's that's very disappointing. To be honest with you, I didn't like the kingdom anyway. So it was okay. That's my opinion. It was okay. I'm just okay, okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Let's talk about Elvin mm -hmm. uh, talking to Lydia. What do you think about that, Austin? Well, I think it's sour grapes from uh, losing his girlfriend, but luckily Daryl jumped in to be like, hey, you know. So thank goodness for Daryl. Yeah, I, I can't really say much more about it. Obviously, Alden's mad because of what happened to Enid mm -hmm. and uh, wants to take it out on Lydia, which she had nothing to do with it. She's an innocent bystander. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'd say. I mean, I think Alden's a good character, potential character death for season 10 yes. in the Whisper War, yes. whenever they do that. Mm -hmm. So that's my opinion on that. Uh, of course, we had Lydia actually trying to get bit by a walker tonight. Yeah. That was a little interesting. Obviously, Lydia yeah. feels like she caused the deaths of Henry and all the other people that died in last week's episode. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert, I warned you. And, uh, yeah, she just wanted to kind of opt out or get bit and then eventually mm -hmm. succumb to somebody, you know, taking her out because she's been infected. Um, she didn't do it. Luckily, Carol was there to kind of uh, yeah. go, oh, I, I guess it, you didn't see that. So um, any thoughts other than what I added to that? Well, I definitely, I liked the Carol and her uh, dialogue there, and I thought that, you know, they kind of teased something was happening all of a sudden. Whoa! Oh, there's the walker. So they kind of teased it a little bit, but, you know, be interesting to see where that dynamic goes uh, come season 10, for sure. Yep. Uh, they actually went to a different place tonight, some place we haven't seen only one time this season, and that was... The sanctuary. The sanctuary. It was like... They actually stay at the sanctuary, and Michonne thinks it's a shithole. Yeah. Nikki could have told her that. Yeah. Yeah, that was, I didn't know that was going to happen in the episode, so that was a little surprising that they actually went to the sanctuary. Maybe right. they'll use that a little bit more. Uh, I heard that the sanctuary, from what they were saying early on in the season, that people just couldn't live there because it wasn't, you couldn't grow food there or something like that. So I don't know if that'll be a factor in the next season or following seasons, but stay tuned. Might have been our last opportunity to see the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. We shall see. So. This was a really good episode for Negan, and that's one thing I really liked. Yes. He had a lot of time on this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a part where he was uh, at somebody's house. I don't know who specifically it was. And he was kind of chained over in the corner. And you had Sadiq, Father G, Eugene, 
Rosita. And, uh, Rosita. Uh, just chilling there. I think somebody else was there. Background character. I think so. I'm not sure. I don't know. It was great. Great dialogue by Negan. Mm -hmm. Negan swears and Judah says language. Yeah. And he corrects her later. <laughs> yeah. That was that was really good. And then there's one point where Judith, they're gonna go outside to Aaron's house apparently because it's mm -hmm. warmer there or something like that. Something like that. And Judith runs off because she hears dog. Mm -hmm. And Negan actually, without hesitation, without hesitation, goes after her. And uh, needless to say, Negan does end up saving Judith and dog. Right. And uh, yeah, that that was that was a very critical scene. Very. The Negan redemption arc. It's starting. It is. It's it's definitely they starting. Gave us a little teaser of that. Yes, they certainly did. And the dialogue with him and Michelle and her thanking him and I'm like, well, okay. Well, we'll certainly cover that as well. Oops. So I well they kinda of go in order this time, but mm -hmm. we can get off the order. Uh, we saw some snow walkers tonight. Mm -hmm. Nothing real big there. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more entertaining, but it, it wasn't, but First time we've seen walkers in snow. I thought it'd be the whispers, but and of course there was there was more to the uh, Carol and Lydia. You know, not just her seeing Lydia, Lydia trying to get bit by the walker, but Lydia actually wanted Carol to kill her because mm -hmm. of what happened, and obviously Carol didn't. And I think that's going to be a relationship that gets built on in future seasons. Yep. She felt bad, yeah. understandably so. Hopefully, this child doesn't end up dying because when Carol gets she close is. to a kid. Whether it be Sophia, whether it be Sam, whether it be Lydia, uh, or Mika, Lizzie, Sam, the other kids. There weren't uh, any flowers to look at. Yeah. Uh, Sophia, that uh, hopefully Lydia will be safe. But I, I don't know where her character right. goes from here because it they very, very well could kill her off next season. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we had Judith get saved by Negan. We talked about that already. Uh, Michonne actually uh, thanked Negan like we Austin had covered. I know. Like what touching scene, and then she actually grabbed the chair and kind of sat there and talked to him, and that just blew him off. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, I think in Michonne's eyes right now, she's really to give Negan the keys to the castle. Mm -hmm. It seems like Negan cares about the people at Alexandria and wants to help out as much as he can. And uh, Austin, what what are your thoughts on Negan actually at this point? I know, I, obviously, the first episode of season seven, you hate Negan, but since right. then. After that, he really doesn't do anything bad. No, he doesn't. I'm pleased to see that they're heading in that direction with him because that's uh, it's you know if you're going to show him, you've got to lead up to it. And they're starting to do that, and I look forward to more of Negan come next season. Yeah, I think Negan's going to have a big season next season. I think Negan's going to be featured in at least twelve out of the sixteen episodes for season ten, uh, if not more. I think Negan will be one of the focal points on the show, especially. Spoiler alert. Michonne is leaving next mm -hmm. season. And there's rumors that Ezekiel is leaving. We don't know how. Stay tuned. Death or not, we don't know. But there are rumors that Michonne for sure is leaving mm -hmm. and Ezekiel might be leaving. So that's more opportunity for Negan to Absolutely. Uh, hog more screen time and say funny things that he's... I wonder how he and Daryl will coexist. I think they'll do just fine. As long as he doesn't have to listen to Easy Street. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> oh, no, that's me a, either. Interesting episode there. Um, yes. Big development tonight in the Ezekiel Carroll relationship, actually. Uh, Carol wants a divorce. What? Yeah, that's I know. pretty crazy. She uh, she the pulled her ring up and said, here you go. And he, he, no, I don't want it. Yeah. Obviously, Ezekiel is mad about Daryl. I think Ezekiel ultimately blames Daryl for Henry's death, which I think is ridiculous, but mm -hmm. he does. And uh, I don't know where this leaves Ezekiel. But it's uh, it's certainly interesting. Does this possibly leave the door open for a Carol Daryl physical relationship? Very much so. Very much so. I mean, we've been wanting this for how long? I mean, do you do you really think it's going to happen? No. I'd like to say so, but who knows? When it happens, what actually happens, let me know. Okay. Well, there that you. that could be the case. Mm -hmm. uh, there was an interesting scene. We didn't get much of the whispers tonight. We we got a scene with Alpha and Beta. Where uh, Beta wants to get, or I'm sorry, Alpha wants to get stronger, puts her arm up or out, and then Beta just whips her continuously. Mm -hmm. So that was very interesting because mm -hmm. she needs to be stronger for what's about to happen next. So we're mm -hmm. obviously getting hints of the Whisper War. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long that will last. I don't want them to drag it out. No, but it could be very interesting. Yes. Uh, what does that tell you about? Beta 
whipping alpha. What what is he's that? trying to toughen her up to, to you know motivate her to um, for redemption. But I mean, shouldn't it be the other way around? But yeah, I mean, obviously she's still mad that her daughter is part of that. Uh, you know, Alexandria. It, so. I'm kind of curious what the relationship between Alpha and Beta is. Like, why is Beta her number two? Obviously, she treats him differently. He saw her cry last week, and she didn't get mad about that. But that other whisper saw her cry, and they got uh, they got killed. So they're supposed to tease more in the next season. Yeah, so I want to see again. kind of a backstory between Alpha and Beta. I don't want to see a whole episode of it, no, because I don't like bottle episodes Bits and pieces. But maybe a little bit here and there. Maybe maybe like five minutes for like four episodes, kind of showing some things. So that would be nice. And then, of course, we we started the episode with Ezekiel on the uh, the radio talking to just well he was, he was initially talking to himself at the beginning of the episode and at the end of the episode he's talking to Judith mm -hmm. and then the episode ends with Ezekiel leaving the room and then we hear somebody's voice on the radio yeah very faint we don't know who it is nope a lot of people suspect that it's Rick Grimes possibility I don't think it's Rick I don't think it's Rick either I think it's Morgan I think so Maggie or Dwight I mean, it could very well be Rick, but Rick can always have a chime in next year Yeah, uh, in Season 10. I mean, Michonne, Michonne is leaving the show, and I, I don't think Michonne's going to die. I think something's going to happen where she goes out to look for Rick. Mm -hmm. And I think it would make sense that Rick would be the one on the radio, but mm -hmm. it didn't really sound like Rick in this It season, sounded a little so. bit like Morgan, but it was very faint. Yeah, Morgan's still on Fear the Walking Dead, and they're still on the old timeline. They're, yeah. they're six years behind. Mm -hmm. Or maybe there's eight years behind. I, I don't know. We shall see. So that was the episode in the nutshell. Um, Austin, I know we covered a lot of stuff tonight. We Is did. there anything I'm forgetting? No, there's not. There's not? Nope. Okay, well, if I do forget something, I'll do another video talking about it. So i got to score this episode, and Austin has to score this episode. Okay. Austin, why don't you go first and give your reasons why? I'm going to score 8.5. I thought it really progressed a lot of things going forward. I didn't, like you said, like the death, but I was willing to kind of give it the benefit of the doubt of several storylines this season into next season. So I thought overall it was good. Uh, just I was expecting more, but being that it's, you know, you have to forward the storylines, you're going to get that every once in a while. I, I do agree with your your what you just said as far as you're expecting more. This is a, mm -hmm. this is a season finale. Exactly. Of arguably one of the best seasons of The Walking Dead. You, you had a lot Very of good things so. happen. But nothing like big. I think they should have. I, I I'm I really stand by the fact that I really think they should have saved a character death for this episode. With that said, Austin, you're, we were a little tougher on the scores here. Still a good score. I'm going to give the episode a nine point two out of ten. Fair enough. I think there's a lot of Negan in this episode, and you know I got a hard on for Negan, so <laughs> that's that's right. the way I see it. So down boy. That was tonight's episode titled "The Storm." I guess we. I guess we forgot to mention there was a lot of snow, too. I yeah. Snow walkers, winter has come. Winter has come. Dun, 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 dun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like it. Thumb it up. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for locking. Thanks for walking. Thanks for watching. Okay. And, of course, me and Austin will be back again soon. Take care. Peace.